Okay, I'm going to show you in this video how to use the enthalpy of the reaction, or sometimes people call it the heat of reaction, and how to use those in stoichiometry problems. So, number one, you have to have a balanced equation, which I've already have this up here. So this is ethane plus oxygen gas makes carbon dioxide, water, and then that much energy is released. Okay, so now we're going to first start off with writing down what the problem gives us. So it's going to say 2.5 liters of ethane. So that's C2H6. Draw a picket fence. Okay, now this equation up here is in moles. So this says 2 moles of that ethane plus 7 moles of oxygen produces 4 moles of carbon dioxide and 6 moles of water and 3,100 kilojoules. So what you need to do first, just like any stoichiometry problem, is get to moles. Since we're at STP, we can use this. That one mole of any gas at STP equals 22.4 liters. Then, the new step is we're going to use the energy in relationship with the moles. And so, the problem, the, the balanced equation shows that for every two moles of this ethane that burns, you're going to get 3,100 kilojoules. If you do the math for that, I believe it equals something like 1.7 E to the minus 2 kilojoules. Now that's how much is released. You could put a negative number there, just showing that that energy is going out, or you could write 1.7 E to the minus 2 kilojoules would be released to the surroundings when this burns. Okay, number two. Uh, same kind of problem. So you first you write down what the problem gives you. Gram CO2. Draw the picket fence. Well, like any problem, we have to get to moles. So first we'll get to moles. So one mole CO2, the molar mass is 44 gram CO2. That gets us to moles. Now the new thing that we're learning in this unit is that we can use the mole to heat ratio to figure out how much energy is produced. So we look up here and we have four moles of CO2 and for every four moles of CO2 that is produced you also get 3100 kilojoules and if you do the math for that one I believe it equals 454 kilojoules now sometimes when people are doing the math they forget to divide by this other number here you get to divide by two numbers so make sure you don't forget that all right, the last problem is a little bit different. The last problem is it wants to know how much heat, or to generate so much heat, how many grams of oxygen are required. So when they give you, they're asking for how much heat, or do, do they tell you, or they, or they tell you how much heat they want, you first have to start your, your picket fence with that. So it's kind of backwards of what we've been doing. So you write down the kilojoules. You want to generate that much. The answer is how many grams of oxygen? Well, there's a mole ratio that we have looked up before that for every seven moles of oxygen that react, you get 3,100 kilojoules. So you can just put that 3,100 kilojoules here for every seven moles of oxygen. I got these numbers from the balanced equation. Then, what you need to do, it says how many grams, so we're at moles, you just change to grams. One mole of O2 equals 32 grams of O2. Then you do the math, and I believe this one equals 1,267.6 grams of O2. So, with any of these problems that you're doing, the new step is using the the energy in the equation with the mole ratios from the balanced equation. So you always need a balanced equation to start with and then you use the ratio. Notice how I used it in all these these steps here. But then the rest of it's just like what we learned in the stoichiometry unit. If you're not in moles, you got to get to moles. Then you can use the heat to mole ratio. That's how to do those problems. That's it.